Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, Jason DeWitt out, out here in Denver, Colorado. Um, I am an entrepreneur at heart, fourth generation entrepreneur, and it's kind of all I've ever known, all my family's ever known. So um, naturally I really gravitate towards that side of the world. And um, I was asked to answer a few questions. The first one being, why am I more successful than you? And at first I thought that's kind of, you know, it's kind of egotistical and, I, and I'm not so much a dude that's really out there and like, I'm better than you, I'm, you know, all this stuff. So um, the first thing I thought about when trying to answer this was that there's so many ways to define success. And I think that, um, you know, for this, I'm gonna stick more to business success and why I've been able to find that over the last few years. And um, it's kind of really fourfold for me. The first one uh, that comes to mind is I've been able to be super resilient. I've got my tail tore off so many times over the last few years and, um, and there have been a lot of like dark days, uh, to be very honest with you, but I continue to come back and I continue to wake up the next day and continue to get after it and continue to fight and claw for everything that I know I can do. Um, ultimately trying to leave a legacy for my family and uh, so that really keeps me going. Uh, the second one is um, I feel that I have pretty great empathy towards what people actually need. So the people I'm managing, the people I'm taking care of, um, and even what the market is needing, I have great empathy towards that. So I can figure that out super quick and then react even quicker to that. Um, and then, you know, while doing all of that, I try to operate only in the long term. I try to operate under my visions and then hire people around me to uh, help those visions come true more on the short term. I really don't care what I'm doing in, you know, the three weeks, six weeks, six months, one year. I really could care less. Yes, I have to live in reality and understand that bills need to be paid and all this stuff, but I am building something here and I'm very passionate about it and I know I'm going to succeed here because I operate in that long term. I don't, I'm not trying to build this huge company and sell it in six weeks. I act as though I want to be here in 2030 and I want to be here in 2040 and 50 and 60 and 70 and hopefully longer than that. Um, and then above all of that, what really uh, I think has led to success is just gratitude. Super grateful, um, even though it's cheesy to say, like I am super grateful for where I'm at in life, for what's happened to me, both good and bad. Um, I've been through a lot of stuff in my life that really I think has shaped and molded me, but if I had to go through all of that again to get to where I'm at right now, I'd do it 10 times out of 10 um, without even thinking about it. So I'm super grateful for my life, my family, um, and just everything that I've got going on right now, whether it's good or bad, I find something to be grateful about and um, I tear that up. So thanks guys.